yo YouTube, it's good to be back. Uh, I've had a little bit of a hiatus, probably for about two weeks, haven't uploaded anything. Um, I was away on family holiday for about 10 days of that. Um, and I've obviously started a podcast, so that's taken a little bit of time as well. And then since the start of the year, I've also been uploading a video every single day uh, of an album review. So I've been listening to a different album every day and uploading that on uh, TikTok. And it's come to the point now where I'm like, I need to start to think about how I'm going to put it all together because I can't sustain all three. But I think the fav my favourite of all of them is probably doing this YouTube stuff. So um, this week, I'm just back, now today's Wednesday, I'm just back from Portugal, I just got back last night. And um, yeah, I've got, this week is week one of 16 weeks training leading into the Valencia Marathon. So I'm going to definitely do a YouTube video every week, update my training, let everybody know what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it. So that should be good. And then, um, yeah, we'll head into the race uh, come the 1st of December. So I've got a lot of running to do between now and then. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the week before I left, I ran about 86k. I just wanted to do as much volume as I could. And that was pretty good. I got the volume up pretty high. Um, yeah, 86k. The plan was to do 100, but I just didn't have the time. It wasn't, it wasn't the running that I couldn't commit to. It was just, life was just busy, you know, leading into the holiday. I had a lot of people I needed to see to treat and stuff before I went. So, yeah. Um, but I was glad I got the 86k and just thought I'll absorb all that training while I'm away, which I did. Um, and then while I was away, I joined the gym uh, in the hotel that I was staying at and um, did a good bit of weight training there. Just ran 5k in the treadmill, maybe four or five times uh, in the week or in the 10 days I was away, but did a good bit of strength training. So I'm going to continue the strength training, uh, building into the marathon and obviously rank up the mileage again. So. Uh, Today's Wednesday, like I said, I'm supposed to be running today, but I was first day back, I had a mental day, busy in work. Uh, I was just too tired. I just worn out, I'm exhausted from traveling and getting back and whatnot. So uh, tomorrow's Thursday, I'll kick off the week. I ran, on Monday, I ran 5K in the treadmill. So the week has started and that's part of the plan. Tomorrow I'll do 10K and then Friday I'm gonna hit the track. I've got 10 by 12, 10 times, no, 12 times 400 meters to do on the track off 200 meter recovery and then uh, see how Sunday goes long run. But yeah, that's it, I'm back. It's good to be back. Uh, I'm gonna get the drone out. I'm gonna get some action shots and I'll keep you all up to date what I'm doing in terms of my training. It's Friday afternoon, I'm back. I was away on holidays for a little while, recharged all the batteries. I'm back, I'm at the track. I'm about to my first track workout in a very, very long time. Uh, this week was week number one of 16 weeks training leading into the Valencia Marathon. So uh, it's been a little bit of a tumultuous journey with YouTube because I started the podcast. I'm going to try and amalgamate the YouTube and podcast into each other. But for the moment, I'm just going to get this video done. I need to get some more video. My, I think my favorite of all of them is doing YouTube stuff. But I've got a lot of stuff going on at the moment. Anyway, it's Friday. I'm at the track. I'm going to go and do a workout. I'm going to do 12 by 400 meters on, 200 meters off. Get a little bit of speed in the legs and get myself running, get myself feeling good again because uh, the, the holiday was really relaxing, maybe a little bit too relaxing. So I need to just hit it hard today. So out to the track. Okay, that's a wrap on the track session. I did 10 by four. Hundreds, uh, kept them in around that 350 per kilometer uh, pace, which was exactly what I wanted. It's kind of like my 5k pace, I suppose, or theoretical 5k pace. Before I went on holidays, uh, the week before I did the long, so two weeks ago, um, I did five 800s and I was down them at this bait uh, 350, and they felt comfortable. So doing the four ones today was relatively comfortable. It's a little bit windy on the track, uh, so for the home straight, it was like a hard wind, but. It was okay maintaining pace. I had to kind of concentrate a bit. It was dropping a little bit. So just so long as I concentrate, so it's good because the strength is down the legs. And uh, yeah, I'm happy enough with that little session. That was a good session. Uh, 10K tomorrow, easy. And then long run Sunday. And then we're into week two. So, so far, I seem to be redeeming the week that started off quite bad uh, with the travel and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, onwards and upwards. Just back from a 10K run, uh, nice and easy. Uh, just took it um, as 520 per kilometer, so it was the easy run done. That's on the plan for this week. So the week is back on track. Like I said, it started off a bit shaky. Um, I left Portugal on, third, on Tuesday, so I ran just 5k easy on Monday morning. Uh, that was on the plan. I was supposed to run on Tuesday, but <clears throat> it was just too hectic. There was too many wheels in motion in terms of getting packed up in the hotel and back to the airport. So I didn't run. When I got back, 
had a really busy day on Wednesday, like packed with work. And when I finished, I had time to run, but I was just absolutely exhausted, so I didn't bother running. Um, yeah, and then here I am now, get the week back on track. Yesterday's track session went well. Legs were a little bit sore today after, but not nothing major. Um, just got an easy 10k now, and then tomorrow, uh, I got to do a longer run tomorrow, and it's going to finish up with 3k at Martin Pace um, at the end of that run. Probably not the very. I'll probably do it with 5k to go, and then be able to just run easy for the last 2k. I like having a little buffer when I finish my long run, so. That's the plan for tomorrow and so far the week is back on track and it's all looking like it's going to shape up pretty well for week one of 16 weeks that wraps up last week uh finished with 54k for the whole week which was pretty good considering i had the first two weeks or first two days of the week i was away traveling uh i just coming back from holiday so yeah overall i'm quite happy with how week one went of the 16. um yesterday on the long run i got uh i just think it's 22k and it was just under i think it was like about 450 per kilometer average i did two sets of 3k at marathon pace and uh, so yeah overall a good week onwards and upwards looking forward to next week it cranks up a little bit more uh yeah but um overall things are looking good to begin with anyway remember guys run far run fast most of all run sensible